Abdul, so nice to have you here. Can you please introduce yourself and Monad to our listeners? Yeah, thanks for having me here. I'm Abdul. I'm the head of DeFi at Monad. And Monad is a high-performance EVM layer one blockchain that went live on Testnet in February and is going to be coming out on Mainnet later this year. Yeah, it's very exciting. And already you have over 210 projects building on Monad. So what do you see as core advantages of developing on your layer one compared to a very crowded layer one landscape? Yeah, that's a great question. So if you look at Monad, what our team is really doing is we're fundamentally optimizing the EVM layer one blockchain stack from the ground up. So our team is rebuilding the entire EVM client, doing a new consensus mechanism, rebuilding the database, and all of that to get as much performance as you can out of an EVM environment without having really unreasonable hardware requirements. So what our team is targeting for is 10,000 transactions per second on the EVM, which for perspective is 1,000x more than Ethereum mainnet and multiples more than most other EVM environments out there. And then we're also going to be having a really cheap gas fee environment. So those are usually two constraints when app developers are looking for an execution platform. How many transactions can I do? And how much gas can I spend? And at Monad, we encourage builders to think outside of those constraints and have a bigger design space when they're building out apps. And I think because of these exciting gaps that you fill, that's why you were able to reach 275 million wallets and also go over 1.2 billion transactions. That's incredible numbers, again, in a very crowded layer one space. So to what really you do you attribute this level of interest and activity? You mentioned, you know, developers can, you know, kind of go out of the regular barrier limitation scope. What about the regular users? Yeah, um, I think uh, the biggest credit over here goes to uh, the community team at Monad, who really spent the last um, over two years, actually, in building out a really uh, interactive community that is extremely engaged with the Monad brand, with the Monad technology. And as soon as the testnet went out, a lot of our community members were playing around with a lot of applications. So really what Monad did was create a really focused kind of a platform where developers could come and deploy their apps. And then on the other hand, you have a community that is extremely enthusiastic about the Monad blockchain. So as soon as the testnet went live, you had a lot of those people going out and um, you know trying out all the different apps. And although you know testnet numbers should definitely be taken with a grain of salt, we're definitely extremely excited to see all the excitement and all the activity coming from community members. Right. I mean, for any layer one user retention and building out that loyalty is key to really remain sustainable and live out. I mean hopefully at least five years, but what's beyond that is yep. always a sustainable goal, right? So what are you pri- what are you prioritizing? Is it the community aspect? Is it the de- developer aspect to really build out that loyalty? Yeah. So I'd say in terms of having a loyal community, um, generally, our community was really built in the bear market when, you know, the vibes were not great. And, you know, people really came to Monad and it was a fun place to hang out. So a lot of the people really stand behind the mission of Monad, which is, you know, high performance while being fully decentralized. And um, in order to convert off, off-chain off community members into on-chain users, our goal for Testnet Launch was really having a lot of really interactive apps that people could come and use. And then for there to be as many fun experiences as possible. So as you pointed out, there's over 200 apps deployed on our Testnet, which is a lot, that, which is a lot more than many mainnet blockchains out there, right? So eventually, those are the kind of things that, you know, we want to do on Monad where, you know, whether you like gaming, you like DeFi, you like NFTs, you like consumer apps, we have everything on Monad. So whatever any community member wants to try out, they can do it. And then we also have some of the biggest DeFi apps deploying on Monad, like Uniswap or Euler or Balancer, Trader Joe. So all of these apps, when they deploy, that also brings a sense of credibility. So really what we wanted to do is make sure that all the excitement and all the hype that was there for the Monad blockchain, we live up to those expectations when we launch our testnet. And then now we want to carry that forward in the mainnet to make sure that we have even more exciting apps and unique use cases for people to try out. So throughout the development process, what were the most critical you know, development factors for you guys in building this layer one from scratch? What Maybe you encountered some challenges that you weren't expecting. Definitely. So I'm not I'm not the most technical person, so I'll try and explain some things that, mm-hmm. from my perspective, were definitely a challenge. So um, I think our team spent a really long time in building out the Monad blockchain and all the technology surrounding it. And parts of that has to do with the fact that uh, our team has rebuilt everything from the ground up. Um, so there's no fork, uh, there's no existing tech being used. And all of that was to do to make sure that 
we have as much performance as possible from as reasonable hardware as possible. So we ended up spending a lot, like our team just put a really, really big engineering effort into making all of that happen. And then eventually the challenge when launching the testnet ended up being that all of the infrastructure that you see within the EVM space and on EVM space is usually not well suited if you're trying to thousand X the performance, right? So all the infrastructure providers had to bring up their infrastructure to meet the to meet the performance of Monad. So that also ended up being a challenge. But again, it's a good problem to solve for where you have more performance to give out to users. No, I think it's very exciting what you have done with Monad so far. And of course, this year you have the mainnet upcoming. So I think a lot of users will finally get the real sense, the real use case, you know, of Monad, what you intended. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your insights. It was lovely, you know, to hear what has been Monad's, you know, focus areas and troubles and also ups and downs, you know, throughout the years. Yeah. Um, thank you, uh, Abdul. Nice to have you here. Yeah, thank you for having me. It's yeah. a pleasure. Likewise. Thanks. <laughs>